Okay, we put it there and let it sand so we can remove all the gritty um, feel. And we're gonna come in with frozen white and we're gonna do three coats of frozen white, okay? And this is pure black, I mean pure, pure frozen, like pure white. You always wanna shake it really well so all the ingredients mix together, okay? I always recommend not to shake it like this, shake it upside down so everything that is sitting at the bottom just drops, okay? So really, really good shape. It does take about 15 minutes for each coat to dry. So I have my heat gun to help me with the process because it would take me forever <laughs> with this weather right now.
like you see that detail uh -huh. underneath? Yeah. This brush will really get in there oh, okay. in the crevices, okay? When you're doing something just flat like this, this you is good. Stick with that? Oh yeah, because these bristles are way different than the bristles they sell on people. Mm -hmm. These are synthesis, which is not just regular plastic or a synthetic. Welcome back. So we did three coats of frozen white and the last fourth coat we did it in areas that were not, um, that were darker. So what we're going to start doing, we're going to start doing the layering of colors and we're going to be using cocoa. We're going to be using dark charcoal and antique gray. Okay. All these three are going to be together. Now you want to go more with the gray? Okay, cool. So we'll use a little bit of cocoa and we'll focus on this two more. Okay, this is a uh, dark charcoal gray, which is the one on the bottom right there. Okay. And then the, the very top one. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, and this is just going to give it some depth of wood finish, you know? So the first one that we're going to use is going to be cocoa. And then we're going to come in with dark charcoal and then antique gray. So cocoa, dark charcoal, and antique gray. Now, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Espresso? No, we're not going to do the dark charcoal gray because as soon as we mix this one with the white and this all mixed together, you'll see. Okay, you'll see. Do that no. no, so we'll do cocoa, dark charcoal, and antique gray. If you want to add more of either, then we just keep adding. Okay, okay? so first we start with cocoa, okay? And this is, and this is the trick. You're gonna get yourself a paper plate. Paper plate. And pour out a little bit of paint. Thank you. 
doesn't need to cover all the way. We actually want some white to pop. towards the grain of the wood. And just keep your long strokes nice and straight. Okay. Sit 
pressure. Make sure you're constantly pulling it around the back. So it's not supposed to be like super watery, but enough so it's it manages, okay? All the colors just blend mm -hmm. together.
recommend to work recommend to work gloves with this technique because it can get messy. Really messy. I've done my chicken coop. I did greens, teals, reds, yellows. And we don't even have to add the antique gray because I can see that you like darker than lighter. But it's up to you. Because if you like it like this, you can leave it like yeah. this. Right? Yeah. 
So it's up to you from here what you want to do. If you want to go more or less, you pick your the balls. See, I was going to do a dark, dark gray like that, yeah, but, but, but now it's too dark. Yeah. You know, the spa, like you want it light and airy. Yeah. So, so I think maybe this gray, and then with an accent of um, maybe like Lighter. 
lowers down the the color. Thank you. 
Yes, on the strokes, yeah. but because it'll blend. Really nicely. Oh, yeah, see, I think that goes with the color pretty good, too.
much better for you. Much, much better.
bump so we're going to sand it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. This was his tester to like see like what the sander take. Yeah. So this is 320. Can you see that? Can you see that? 320. Okay, so now we're gonna add the top coat. This much, this much is way easier than the brush. 